Hello, this is a brief memoir, cricket memoir of FHR. My name is Bashir Kara. I'm the youngest brother of FHR. Known to one and all by his initials FHR, Fida Habib Remtula was one of Tanganyika's finest all-rounders. Born in Dar es Salaam on 2nd of November 1922, he studied in Indian Central School. He excelled in volleyball and cricket. However, FHR is most fondly remembered and held in awe as a cricketer. He captained his school team in 1940 and then played for the government services and the Boras cricket until the formation of Ishnashris in 1951. Taking advantage of his six feet height and well-built body, FHR used to open the bowling with his right arm medium paced outswingers and later resorted to spin. A middle order batsman, he would hit the ball to all parts of the ground. During his cricketing career in Dar es Salaam, spanning from 1938 to 1953, he scored eight centuries and had taken 500 wickets. He was accompanied by his younger brother, Muslim, who was also a formidable sportsman playing volleyball and representing Dar es Salaam and Tanganyika at cricket. Muslim was an accomplished wicketkeeper and an attacking middle or batsman. The brothers enjoyed their sports and were proud to represent their club and the country. FHR formed an integral part of Tanganyika side that com competed in the East African tournaments, playing with such names as Meridu, Premji Vagela, Abdul Kader Makra, Gulu and Shera Kalyan, Dosan, Ramanbai, Manda Kassam, to name a few. One of the highlights of his cricketing career was during the Diamond Jubilee celebration of his Royal Highness the Aga Khan in 1945. He played for Dar es Salaam against a combined East African Ismailis for the Diamond Jubilee Cup. FHR scored an unbeaten 109 runs and then proceeded to claim nine wickets for just 20 runs to lead his side to victory. His Highness Aga Khan was the first to congratulate him. A middle order commanding stroke player who adjusted his style of play to suit, to suit the situation. He could defend for hours or strike the ball to all parts of the ground, keeping the scoreboard moving fast. He never wilted under pressure and his uncanny ability to lift the performance of his lesser contemporaries to greater heights made him one of the finest captains. He commanded the faith and respect of his teammates as well as his opponents. He conducted himself to the strict code of cricket ethics and is remembered for his attitude to the game which he has enriched with grace, simplicity and nobility. FHR left Tanganyika in 1953 for Belgian Congo, where he played no cricket at all. When he left for Congo in 1953, he was invited to join the Tanganyika team to play Uganda in Kampala. Although Tanganyika lost the match, FHR was man of the match. He left Congo for UK in 1965 and in 1972 started playing again from the age of 50 when he moved to Poole in Dorset. He played for Poole in Southern League and Dorset League from 1972 to 1995. His performances for Poole Cricket Club were extraordinary. He took over 750 wickets but because his eyesight was failing, he was less keen on batting. In 1980, at the age of nearly 60, he wrote himself into the town and county Southern League records with remarkable bowling performances. He became only the second player in the Southern League history 
to capture 50 wickets in a season. He also took five or more wickets in an innings in seven consecutive matches. Here are some of the local newspaper headlines after his performances. Taking six wickets for 20, the headline was Kara completely bewildered the batsman. Five wickets for 24 runs spun out by Kara. Eight wickets for seven runs, a fine spell by Kara. Those were small selection of the headlines and his performances in the Southern League. His batting also earned him praise. Playing for Poole against uh, Agrarians, he took 5 for 50 and then guided his team at 99 for 9 to a draw with an unbeaten 42. So difficult was it to play his bowling that the Southern League changed the rules that no bowler was allowed to bowl more than 10 hours per inning. At the same dinner, FHR renewed an old friendship with Basil D'Oliveira, ex-England all-rounder, 40 years after they first met in 1949. In 1991, Poole Cricket Club celebrated its centenary when 11 best players of the club from over a period of 100 years were named and FHR was one of them, a super achievement. At the 1990 Southern League dinner, FHR was presented a special trophy by Paul Parker, then the Sussex captain. Inscribed on the trophy were the words, From your friends in Southern Cricket League, 70 not out. FHR appears on the Bowling Honours Board of Poole Cricket Club 35 times out of 200 entries dating back to 1954. Now that is pretty good. His illustrious cricket career spanned from 1938 to 1995 with interval of 12 years of no cricket while he was settling in the Congo. His career expanded two phases, featuring 1930s, 40s and 50s in East Africa, known as FHR. And then again in 1970s, 80s and 90s with Poole Cricket Club in England, known as CARA. He earned laurels and accolades in his lengthy sports career. FHR passed away peacefully on the 12th of October 2013 in London.